Hello and welcome to the camera setup tutorial. Here we'll be showing you the settings on how to set up the camera. On the side there's a little power button. You push in the little green tab and push it up and it'll be on. This is where the screen is. You can just flip the display up. To undo the lens cap, press in both sides and it'll come off easily. Next we'll show you how to set up the white balance and focus. The four buttons on the side, they're speaking assign one, manual white balance, and WB set. Uh, we'll only be focusing on three of these buttons. A WB set will go between four different settings. Excuse me, it'll, it'll white balance the camera, and the white bow will switch between four settings. So if you press white bow on the camera, it'll go between the four settings. Those four settings are standard, the sunlight, A and B. The A and B will have like a little flower looking icon next to it. On the bottom right, you can see it switching between the four. When you press the WB set button, it'll change between the different levels on the white balance. Uh, this is for when you want to white balance. If you put a uh, white object in front of it, the number will change. If you put a gray number, uh, object in front of it, the number will change again. And depending on what you white balance on, it will make the video either a pleasant color corrected image or it might be really washed out, as seen here. Next we'll focus on the manual focus. To switch between the settings, uh, there's this button with manual on the side. If you press that on the bottom left of the screen, you'll see it's go to focus manual. This will allow you to turn this focus ring to manually focus a video or a footage. To display this, I'm going to zoom in on our object and show you. I'm turning the focus ring one direction and it's getting blurrier, but when I start turning it the other direction, the image will start coming in, into clarity. Now you can see that the image is clearing up and now it is clear. Um, it's not usually a good idea to use autofocus for everything because sometimes the video will, or the camera will want to autofocus randomly and it might make your video blurry for half a second. Uh, pressing the button again, you'll see on the bottom left it says focus auto. This will generally just automatically focus on whatever you're looking at. Again, it's not a uh, foolproof method though. On the side of the camera, you will see a zoom button. Forward is a zoom in and backwards is a zoom out. The T is, is forward and the W is back. The side one it will zoom in faster. It's, you, it'd be good to be careful when using this kind of zoom if you're trying to do any steady shots. On the top of the camera, there is another zoom button, but this one is much smaller and slower. It'll zoom in at a slower increment as seen here. On the side of the camera, there is a light button. There's an on-off switch, and that's basically all there is to it, except there there is a light diffuser that you can put on. On the top of the camera, there is a record button, and also a record button by the power button. Uh, you'll want to turn these on when uh, before starting a football game, and also if you're going to be recording any footage. Uh, on the screen, you can tell if the video is recording because there will be a red REC, and if it's uh, not recording, it'll be a green standby. Again, it is on the top of the screen. The little eye port on the camera can come out and go back in. This is to adjust for uh, making yourself comfortable if you have a larger head or just want the camera to be farther away from your head. You can slide your hand through here. This will give you the optimal control over your zoom and your power button and record button.
to install the microphone on the camera, there is a little latch that you have to undo, and you can flip up the mount. And on the microphone itself, there's a little knob that you want to put into the slot onto the mount. This will make sure that the microphone stays in the, the mount itself. You can then flip the latch down and then close it. Now you want to plug the microphone into the camera at the red little port on the front. Make sure it's plugged in all the way. Next, take the cable and put it into the little clip that's provided on the camera. This is so that the cable doesn't get snagged on anything you're walking by. On the side of the camera, there is a little door. This will have your AV uh, for audio and your video VNC connector. And on the back, there's a little headphone jack and a remote uh, remote jack. Headphone jack is so that you can listen to any videos you've recorded on the camera itself to hear the audio, and the remote is for the remote. Uh, the remote jack is for the remote on the stand itself. On the back of the camera, there's a button that you can press. This button will release the battery. And the only reason the battery should come out is if you press that button. Otherwise, it'll be secure. On the side, there's a little window. This holds the SD card or covers it. If you push the SD card in, the card will come out. When you pull the card out, the gold side should be facing towards the back of the camera. This will make sure that it works. If it's facing the other way, the SD card won't record anything. When you push it in, it should be, become flush and you should be able to close the window. This concludes the setup of the camera.